Well, hello, folks. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the program. And where we are is we're at Kern Lock, which is around the Antrim coast, and it's a lovely wee village. And we're outside the Londonderry Arms Hotel. And believe it or believe it not, but this hotel has a big connection with uh, Sir Winston Churchill. So I'm going to take in and let you see around it. Now, it's set in the heart of the Glens of Antrim, and the London Dairy Arms Hotel started life as a coaching inn, built in 1848 by Francis Anne Tempest, who was a marchioness of London Dairy. And the estate passed down through the generations and eventually was inherited by Sir Winston Churchill in 1921. And the deeds of his ownership are displayed in the hotel. So I'm going to take you over the, I'm going to get across this road here and uh, show you inside. As you can see we have a bit of traffic. But in 1947, Frank and Maura O'Neill took over its ownership. And the O'Neills, along with their son, Frankie, just get across here managed to restore and enhance the hotel, retaining the uh, grandeur of the Georgian features. So we're going to go and have a look. So Winston Churchill was born Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill on the 30th of November 1874 in Oxfordshire in England. And the first thing that meets you is these two chairs. As you can see, So, Churchill joined the British Army in 1895 and he saw action in the Anglo-Sudan War and also the Second Boer War. And this is the lady that I mentioned. Hard to see that, but it's to commemorate Francis Marchioness of London Down. What? Cornlock Harbour. So, um, that's the lady that I, I'm only after mentioning. So we're going to go in here and have a wee look. You can see the uh, handle there. So he was elected a Conservative MP in 1900, but he defected to the Liberals in 1904. And there's a wee painting here of Churchill, as you can see. So I'm going to take the time to read this out to you. It says, Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill, 1874 to 1965. He was a writer, soldier, politician, and wartime prime minister of the United Kingdom. And then it says, this portrait was commissioned by Winston's wife, Clementine, 1943, from Hungarian artist, Professor Arthur Pan. And then it says, prints of this painting were sold to raise money for Clementine's War Relief Fund. So there you go, big connection with this hotel and uh, Sir Winston Churchill. And a wee bit of history here as well. And you can also see the deeds of London Dairy Arms, 1923, signed by Winston Churchill. Of course, it's a, a copy of it, a reprint. So it says here, 1921, after a real crash at Alternatives, a Bermoule, mid Wales, Lord Herbert von Tempest, Burley, died with no children or family. Winston Churchill, Burley's cousin, was surprised to inherit the London Dairy Arms. And then in 1922, Churchill had wanted to turn the London Dairy Arms into a summer residence for himself in Clementine, but his agent advised him not to. Instead, Churchill bought Chartwell, his famous estate in Kent in England thanks to the Irish estate. Then it says in 1923, Churchill sold the London Dairy Arms after changing hands. It was eventually sold to the O'Neill family in 1947, and they're still in ownership today because I was talking to 
uh, a lady who married into the family, who now owns this, res this hotel. And then it says in 1948, Churchill sold the remainder of the estate in Cornlock, the lime works on the harbour to the Earl of Antrim. And of course, I've done the uh, graves of the Earls of Antrim, and uh, I've also done the castle of the Earls of Antrim, so you can check that out on the playlist for the Earls of Antrim. So it says here, being the great grandson of Francis Antheon, Marchioness of London, 1800-1865, once in Churchill was born into the aristocracy. However, when Churchill's father died, he left no allowance for his children, and once in found, he had to earn his keep. Thankfully, the luck of Churchill came through. Following a real crash in 1921, he inherited properties, including the London Dairy Arms, originally built by his great-grandmother as a coaching and transforming a tragedy into a treasure. So there you go. So I'm going to take you into this wee room here, but before I do, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here. Of the Antrim Coast. And this is the Churchill Suite that we're now getting into. So what do you think of that? Isn't that absolutely fantastic? Isn't that amazing? As First Lord of the Admiralty during the First World War, Churchill oversaw the Gallipoli campaign. But after it proved a disaster, he was uh, demoted to Chancellor of the Dutch of Lancaster. That's amazing, that isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Now he resigned in November 1915 and joined the Royal Scots Fusiliers on the Western Front for six months. That's a murder there, isn't it? And in 1917, he returned to government under David Lloyd George, where he served in various capacities. He was out of government for another while during his so-called wilderness years. Of course, that was in the 1930s. This is amazing, even the woodwork, isn't it? Absolutely ah. amazing. Now, in May 1940, he became Prime Minister of Great Britain, succeeding Neville Chamberlain. Of course, it was Hitler who duped Neville Chamberlain. Chamberlain thought it was peace in our time, but the Second World War broke out. And so he, was, he succeeded Neville Chamberlain, and forming a national government, he helped to achieve victory over the Axis powers and Hitler's Germany in 1945. And he served two terms as Prime Minister then. Now, his ancestor was John Churchill, who was born 1650, died 1722. And he was first Duke of Marlborough, who was one of the most successful generals in English history, it has to be said. That's an amazing fireplace, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. So... John Churchill was never defeated on the battlefield in any major engagement. And John's role in defeating the rebels in the Monmouth Rebellion of 1685 helped to secure James II on the throne. But he was also a key player in the military conspiracy that led to James being deposed by the Prince of Orange during the Glorious Revolution of 1688 which placed William on the throne as King William III. So I'm going to make our way back out. So at least you've been in the Churchill suite. So William rewarded John Churchill with the title of the Earl of Marlborough. So Sir Winston Churchill died on the 24th of January 1965 and um, the London Dairy Arms was sold by Sir Winston Churchill just two years after it had come into his possession and the hotel 
sits in the small coastal village then of Carnlock. So there you go folks, I hope you've enjoyed that wee history of the London Dairy Arms Hotel. Again, if you enjoy the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then every time I upload a video, you will be notified of that. Thanks for watching, and God bless.